It's Eugene again. Happy Tuesday. It's uh, August 11th today. Um, and tonight we have, as a church, Journey Madison, we have our uh, prayer and worship night that we've been waiting for. It's going to be at Heartland Church from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. I'm hoping that you guys have already RSVP'd for that, um, as we've been talking about it for a couple months here. Uh, but we're going to have masks, we're going to have uh, face shields for the um, performers, and masks for everyone who is um, leading uh, prayer and talking today. Uh, we're going to be able to socially distance as well. So looking forward to finally being able to um, gather as a church tonight and to just worship together. I'll be there and um, happy to see you guys there too. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, but before that, I want to encourage you guys um, just uh, with the word of God today. Uh, and I'm going to be reading from Philippians 3, verses 12 through um, 12 and 13. And this is Paul's letter to the Philippians. And I'll go ahead with that. It says, Not that I have already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. Um, this summer for me has been a really challenging summer. Uh, if you know me, that you, you know that. Um, the past hundred days or so, the past few months, I haven't been uh, the type of Christian that I'd like to be. I haven't um, set the example of, um, of what it means to be a Christian, what it means to be someone who models uh, their life after Jesus uh, these last few months. And um, right now, it's easy for me to look behind, not only for the last few months, but just to look behind in general and um, start to um, get overwhelmed by all of my shortcomings, all my mistakes, all the ways that I'm not perfect. Uh, and here we have Paul, who is arguably one of the most influential Christians of all time, saying, uh, not that I have already obtained this or am, or am already perfect. He's saying, I'm not, I'm not perfect. But he's pressing forward rather than looking behind at all of the mistakes and all of the um, the ways that he's not perfect. He says he's pressing forward and straining forward to what lies ahead. He said he's pressing toward the goal. Um, and I, want, I wanted to use this pencil as an analogy today. Um, if you can imagine just the tip of this just going on forever and just look at this little red point, this little red eraser here. This is our, this is our time on earth right here, this little red part. And the rest of this is eternity. And we're still in this red part right now. And a lot of us are um, looking, looking back towards the beginning of this red part and being paralyzed because of what we're seeing there, rather than looking forward to what we're pushing forward to, eternity, living, living eternally um, with Jesus Christ. And um, I just want to encourage you today to not get overwhelmed with, um, with all of the troubles and the, the things in our life that can seem overwhelming in the moment, but rather to look forward um, to uh, continuing to live our life for Christ. We're not going to be perfect. We're not perfect beings. Um, but doing our best to, to look like Christ did um, and to look forward to spending eternity with, with our Savior, Jesus Christ, with um, our fellow believers, um, rather than looking behind um, and being overwhelmed and being uh, frustrated with our shortcomings and our imperfections. So I hope that's encouraging today again. Um, this is uh, something that, again, just like Paul, right? I'm not, I'm not perfect at, uh, but I'm trying to be better. Uh, and I think if, if we can do that together as a body of Christ, then collectively we're going to look a lot better. We're going to be able to bless others so much better uh, and be able to articulate ourselves, articulate our beliefs, um, and just look more like Christ did. So I uh, hope that's encouraging again. I'm um, looking forward to seeing you guys tonight at 7 p.m., uh, just being able to worship together and just enjoy each other's company safely and socially distanced. So God bless you guys. Love you. And I'll talk to you and see you soon.